you really understand exactly what it is that you caused the pain, the hurt, taking his future and his dreams and his hopes. I mean, I have no idea the plans that his mom and dad had for him, but I took those away. What if you've committed a horrible wrong? And what if you've been condemned by society for that? And you're spending many years behind bars, maybe even your entire life. But what if you've decided that you want to address that wrong as best you can? I start reflecting on, uh, well, if I die tomorrow, what legacy do I have? Like, all I've ever done is bad shit. And if you wanted a new legacy, what questions might you ask yourself? Why are you angry at the system? You shot that man. Why are you angry at your mother? You got yourself locked up. It's not her fault. You know what I mean? So it was these, these interesting conversations with self. Like, who are you really angry at? And if you did want to change while you're in prison, why might that be difficult? We didn't make it violent. We came into a violent place. And so in order to succeed in here, you have to become violent. And you have to uh, lower your empathy and harden yourself. These are survival tools in here, you know. But maybe change inside is still possible, especially if you find the right community. Like I can see inside myself that I'm a completely different person than I was or, you know, but I don't think outside's gonna see that, but it seems like some of the people up here, they see that it's possible. And this is the only place I really found that. I'm Steve Herbert, a faculty member at the University of Washington. I spent several weeks teaching and interviewing men at the Oregon State Penitentiary trying to learn how they reckon with the past and how they search for a way to atone. I invite you to learn how many men there are like thousands of others who are incarcerated. They're on a journey toward making amends. I see forgiving myself as the end of a marathon and I'm running a marathon right now. And at every step is doing something good, doing something good, doing something good to improve my life, the life of those around me and put something positive out there. Making Amends is an eight-part series, coming soon and available wherever you get your podcasts.